The Better Business Bureau is warning about a scam involving diabetic testing supplies. A Utah woman says the online company involved here actually scammed her, and she's not the only one. ABC 4's Kara Murphy has her story. The Better Business Bureau says there's a company that's accused of scamming hundreds of people around the country out of money. And one West Jordan woman says she was a victim of this company, and they're preying on people with diabetes or other medical issues. CashNowOffer.com claims to pay top dollar cash for unused diabetic supplies. But a West Jordan woman says it's all a scam. All you had to do was get me my money and we would have been happy. You know, and none of this would have had to take place. After sending the company supplies more than a year ago, Patricia Welch says she hasn't received a dime. They said, well, why are you complaining over $95? And I said, because that's $95 that I don't have. So she went to the Better Business Bureau for help. President Jane Driggs with the Utah Division says the company has more than 450 complaints. The Better Business Bureau has been working with them for years trying to get issues resolved and they haven't been able to. So that F rating is kind of a red flag for consumers. So after an investigation, the company's website is still up and running. But when you call the phone number listed, the number you dialed is not in service at this time. Walt says she hopes other consumers take her mistake as a warning. If I wouldn't have just taken the reviews from their website, I wouldn't have been in this position. The Better Business Bureau says if you believe you've been a victim of this company or another scam, always make sure to report it. It's always safe to have that documentation on paper. Reporting in West Jordan, Kara Murphy, ABC4 News. Now, the Better Business Bureau first issued a warning against the company back in May after an initial investigation uncovered a pattern of consumer allegations. The company now has allegations, get this, from consumers in 46 states.